voice cup diaries of my journey. That's why I'm watching this series called Diary of a Made Man, where I show people the in and outs and behind the scenes of everything I'm doing, right? From the investors to the entrepreneurs, all the different players involved behind the scenes. What does that process look like? How do you capture that process for the person who's trying to get inspired? Because the diary makes you fall in love with the process. Hey guys, we're here in Thailand on crypto retirement, having a vacation. No rush, no boss, no manager, no job. Taking a break from crypto even, right? So in this episode, we're gonna travel through all of Thailand. We'll have meetups every single place I go to. In Bangkok, in Pattaya, in Phuket, in Koh Samui, Koh Pagan. I wanna say thank you to, to everyone, guys, because I can't do this without you. You guys are the real MVP. Right? You guys show me so much love, so much support. So I wanna say thank you everywhere I go and meet you guys. Meet you guys face to face, in the flesh. That's crypto retirement. Let me show you Thailand. Let me show you everything. Tell me who they meet, and they tell me when they come, and then they tell me when they leave. So right now, about to have our meetup here in Bangkok, Thailand. As you guys can see, we have a huge crowd. It might even be bigger than Tokyo. This is probably the biggest meetup I've had so far. So lots of love out here in Thailand. It's amazing. Bangkok is definitely showing out. One of the cool things of being a public figure is being able to travel anywhere in the world and have friends anywhere I go. That's one of the perks of being able to influence so many people all over the world. I think Wan Chen will do as well as Icon, if not better. Because it's, it's kind of similar type investors. And after people saw what happened with Icon, yeah. they're just going to sit on their one chin and not, <laughs> <laughs> and not settle for less. All right, guys, I think I'll close out here. Then we go up to the second floor. It's the Crypto Mart. We're about to go to the second spot. I have no idea how expensive this place is. We ended up going upstairs to the bar. All right, guys, the whole bar is ours. In just 24 hour notice to come to the meetup, people were flying in all over from Thailand, from wherever. Okay, nice. I saw you're going to be in Bangkok, so I'm going to out here. No, Wait, fine. you flew out here? Flew out here? Yeah, in Germany. For this? For this. And uh, okay, so, right, so, hey, hey, man, that's what's up. And I was just very, very inspired as well. I was like, wow, all these people are coming here just to meet me. So this guy here flew an hour away? Yeah, yeah. Just for the meetup. Yeah, yeah. I mean, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm very humbled. Yeah, I mean, because I can't do what I do without you guys. You know, so I'm glad I've been able to touch your lives from halfway across the world. Right now, we're here in person. Just finished up drinks. We bought the entire bar thanks to Icon. We're about to go grab some food at, at this local spot. And we're here with this guy, Darius. This guy is a local. This guy runs Thailand, Bangkok right now. So he's actually a friend of Hen, Hen Global. So small world, man, small What's world. Up, man? I'll see you out yeah. there. <laughs> we had a chance to go out with Darius. He gave us the tour of Bangkok nightlife, meeting lots of new people, getting to fully experience Bangkok and with new inspirations, new goals, and new visions. All right, we're about to go grab some lunch here with Michael from my Patreon. You went to the, the Bangkok crypto conference, right? It was very like newbie friendly. I was hoping it'd be more like intense. We didn't really learn too much. It's just more of like, oh, like mainstream's about to enter. That was okay, like, yeah. yeah. About that time. Yeah. We're waiting. <laughs> just have them buy Icon or one chain exactly. first. I mean, I'm really excited to see you doing, doing all of this. Like, yeah. I mean, we weren't really staying that long, but I think eventually, we, once we find a place we like, we'll post up for a bit. I, I just always had the travel bug, but like poker got banned in the States. Excuse Wait, so just, is it was banned in the States? Like they, online poker? They, the US banned the banks from handling those transactions. So poker wasn't illegal, but you couldn't get any money to your American bank. Yeah. So you had to go live abroad. You told me that there are many things that are similar when it comes to poker and crypto. But you're saying it was kind of different in the sense when he got into poker, people were very freely sharing information. But after a while, less people were willing to share their information. So he was wondering whether the same thing will happen in crypto. With me, guys, I will try to put out as much content, as much free education and free information as possible. Because I feel like we can all make money in this. So we ended up going for dinner with Michael and Harry. And this time, they took us to an authentic Japanese restaurant. We bought the entire restaurant, right? So the chefs were making food just for us. We were the only people in the restaurant, so it was very, very cool. During dinner, Michael and I were talking and he basically said, hey, where'd the inspiration come from, Win Lambo? And I said it came from hitting the goals. How did that song come about? And there's no crypto song, so it's just gonna take a... I mean, there's some, but so that, that, that's the different aspect of it. Mine is more like inspirational. You know, like, like we're trying to go to the moon and, and, and Lambos and all that stuff, right? I'm trying to take crypto mainstream. We're not there yet, but I feel like we're on the cusp of doing that. And one of the ways I'm trying to help crypto go mainstream is by going into other industries and trying to basically mix with them. We just on the crypto is just going to cross over and we'll be at the forefront of that. Right? When crypto goes mainstream, everybody benefits. More people come in, 
more money, more buyers, more profits. Don't forget, come fight. Bye. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for joining. I'm here with uh, Ugo. I was uh, on what? Blockfolio or Tinder? <laughs> 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 Any ICOs where the whitelist is still open? Uh, for this month? Not really, man. Not really. I mean, you kind of got to be early. Um, I'll try to look at some more new ICOs for you guys. I've been getting lots of requests. I've been kind of slow because I'm on vacation. Trying to get on that one when it drops. Yeah, one chain is big in my opinion, guys. I think it's gonna be just like Icon, even bigger. Made man is a game plan. You're in South Australia, but you'll fly over. Hey man, that's what's up, I appreciate it. Yeah, so we're doing Sydney and Melbourne. And if we go to New Zealand, we'll be going to Auckland. Right, but definitely we'll be there for the Australian Open because we have tickets. Yeah guys, vacation is what it's about, right? Work hard, play hard. Actually, speaking of that, if anybody is here in Kofega, let's meet up. I'll see you guys on the moon. Moon Lambos. All right, we're about to head to the secret beach. Let's find out what the secret is all about. So I saw people in, in uh, Kofega driving around on scooters, and I got kind of like, hey, you know what, why don't we go to the, to the beach on scooters, right? So I ended up getting some scooters. <laughs> I scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to be Oh jeez. <laughs> sure you still want that first one? Oh! Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Maybe we should die. <laughs> Excuse I don't think me, you I think you don't learn. Yeah, we'll walk, we'll walk. Yeah, you walk better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh! So I just wiped out here, man. Trying to take risks. Trying to ride this wave like in crypto. I took the L. I took the L for sure. <laughs> but good thing is, you live one more day. That's all that matters. <laughs> so we're there on a secret beach, taking in the, the beautiful view drinking some nice pina coladas with my boy Ugo, just talking about 2017. I said, you know what, when I got into crypto, my goal was to make my first million in crypto. And I did that in December. I told him, minimum 30 million in 2018. That's why like, before even the crypto stuff, I was doing the stuff about making money. Right. Because you have to have money coming in you, to you save and invest. You have to have some savings to be able to invest, right? I'm so not gonna lie. That's why the whole angle began with first making six figures. It's the perfect timing. 2018 kind of stays the same way, you don't need to work anymore. Just like if we start with 200K back in April, we'll be way ahead right now, I think. The moon is not the limit. The sky is not the limit. The galaxy is not the limit. I mean, so we're trying to go for a billion. We're trying to make a billion in crypto transparently, and we're taking the whole team with us. Right? There's enough money for everybody in crypto. Right? This is how we're going to get crypto to, to go mainstream, touch so many lives, make so many millionaires and billionaires from what we're doing. This is a movement, guys. This is a revolution. So being somebody who loves staying in Hilton hotels, my boy Darius told me about the bar on the top of the Hilton in Pattaya. That was the perfect spot to have my meetup in Pattaya. So guys, we're here at the rooftop. Meetup hasn't even started yet, and it's already a full crowd. Actually, let me show you guys this real quick. What is this, guys? This looks just like Horizon State. And I happen to be stopping by their offices in Melbourne after this whole crypto world tour I'm doing. So pretty excited to meet, meet up with Jamie and them. No, this is not a sponsored video. This is just me speaking the truth. Just like Bangkok, so many people showed up from all different walks of life. Some coming here through vacation with a couple, some just here living here. Some guys like Mike and Ario came here on a plane from Chiang Mai. Coming off. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. We actually just booked the flight last night. Oh, man. Man, I respect that. I respect that. So if you like, we say, oh, sorry, guys, I'm sick today. I respect that, guys. I respect 
That's dedication right there, dedication. So much love, great conversations, great people, great, great experiences. Oh man, <laughs> thank you for the hat. Uh, I will definitely wear this now. <laughs> now, it's, now it's gonna get famous. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. The same party, guys. This is Crypto Family. Crypto retirement with good people, good food, good views, good travel. This is what it's about. Hey, and the best part was having to meet so many different people who have been touched by me. And once again, they brought me gifts. But this time, it was not alcohol. So thank God. All right. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. Look at this. Hold oh, no, on, no, no, let, let me. Let me try it out. I like this, and I like this. And then somebody also, also brought me a pen. Do you guys see that? It's a pen with my name on it. Ian Bellina. Hey man, with this pen, right? I'll be signing that pre-sale deal. <laughs> and man, what a meetup. And man, what a bill. That bill was ridiculous. Woo! We're good, we're good though. I'll be, I'll survive. Woo! Oh man, I did not see that one coming, but hey. That's how you build a community. You guys are buying next round. <laughs> As I've been traveling through Thailand, enjoying crypto retirement, I kind of missed you guys, right? I missed my audience. You guys told me, you, hey Ian, what's the next live stream? Right, so I ended up doing a live stream right there inside the pool, and I did a quick AMA, answered your questions, covered the ICOs I like coming up, and just shared more love. All of us, we're gonna go on this banana boat. <laughs> banana boat! <laughs> Do I know Jesse? As you guys know, I've been trying to improve my Instagram game, right? And Mike's one of those big influencers on Instagram, and he did an interview for his channel. Literally went from like zero, starting last year, yeah. to three million, and like this isn't financial Actually, advice. Actually, four million now. Oh, it's four million. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. My on bad. the way up. It was a great conversation, great stories, and hopefully you guys get value from that uh, interview. We're about to get on jet skis okay. with these whales. <laughs> <laughs> I found the love that I was seeking, life that I'm leading. Ay, ay, ay. Now I can do this every weekend, cause I'm a free man. I was ay. in Tokyo, riding the job wheel, the rodeo, dancing with the devil for payment. I couldn't do see do but I was driven the mission. Kind of felt like we were Dwayne Wade and LeBron James and Chris Paul and Carmelo Anthony on, the, on that boat. Jet ski, that I can do. Scooters, I cannot do. Look, man, no hand. <laughs> 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 I don't know what else is there to do. So after jet skiing, Ryan hits us up. Says, hey, do you guys want to go to a shooting range? Yeah. That is I kill him. <laughs> man, I guess I was made to be an assassin, huh? <laughs> Crypto life, man, taking us places. Yo, you got blocked. <laughs> this is as close as it gets. First time too, first time. All right, so if you try to come after my private key guys, this could be you. Watch out. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Epic. We took Epic to above and beyond. Building, building, building. <laughs> After Pattaya, we, we hopped on the plane and went to Phuket. And guys, I finally got the spelling right, Phuket, all right? <laughs> we were there and man, oh man, so much love. There were like 25 people there waiting for us. Once again, three big meetups in Thailand. Hey, welcome to the party. All right, so we're here at the meetup in Phuket. We have a full house, just showed up just like that. As crypto family, everywhere we go, we meet lots of cool people. So very, very humbled to have this Welcoming reception here in Phuket, and welcome, welcome to the meetup. When did you get into ICOs? Power Legend? Okay, that one did oh, well. Oh, nice, nice. You still did holding? You, you still holding? Okay. Nice, nice. I got Dragon Chain too. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, You nice. got some good ones got some good then. Ones. Let me join the party over here. What's been your best ICO so far that you guys did? Um, I've only been in the game not so long, so I, I made a lot of my games and records, to be honest with you, over the last three months. That's nice. While I was there, right, we had a big table, lots of people, and I made sure to move around and talk to every single person there. I mean, I wanted to make sure everybody had a chance.
to inter interact with me and ask me anything they wanted to ask me, right? Because I have these meetups for you guys, right? To give back, right? Because I can't do what I'm doing without you guys. You guys are the real MVP. Hey guys, with the awesome Ian Balina here. To the moon. Yeah, and we got <laughs> just one fast question. 2018, is it going to be good year for crypto? I think in 2018, we'll have so many moon landings, it won't even be funny. And I'll tell you why, right? Crypto is really on the cusp of going mainstream. Right? I'm seeing people like Ty Lopez, now do crypto. I'm seeing rappers getting to, in, into crypto. NBA athletes talk about crypto. Makeup artists with over a million subscribers now on YouTube doing videos for crypto. We're reaching this whole new audience that normally wouldn't be exposed to crypto. Right? So I think people who are in early will benefit. Right? Lots of moon landings. Now, now that is my opinion. That's not financial advice. Yeah. Do your own research. Yeah. <laughs>